The Sony Xperia 1 Mark III is an absolute beast. 6.5 inch OLED display at 120Hz, 3840 by 1644 resolution, 3 cameras on the back, 12 gigs of RAM, and a 4500 milliamp battery. It's also currently running Android 12 and has 512 gigs of onboard storage with an SD card slot. And we're not going to look at any of that. Reason being, this is a video on the Sony Reader Store, which was back in 2014 and had all of its content transferred to the Kobo store when they pulled out of the market. Or did they? You would be surprised to know that the Sony Reader Store is actually alive and well to this very day. Yes, 2022, you could open up on your tablet, PC, your smartphone, or even Android e-readers and successfully and comfortably use the Sony Reader Store. Have your doubts? Well, let's take a little bit of a deeper look on both the Xperia 1 and an Android e-reader. When you open up the application on a smartphone or tablet, this is the experience you're going to be presented with. You have your sale, new arrival, popular. You have a carousel here that's showing you the latest coupons, sales, and the things that are top 5, top 100, etc. You even have some 90% off there. Now granted, most of the content, if not all of the content, is going to be in Japanese and this is because the Sony Reader Store, although you can purchase from basically everywhere using Visa MasterCard, is only going to be in Japanese for the most part. Although the descriptions and everything will be in English, like this Mobile Suit Gundam Thunderbolt, and you can read a trial. When you do read a trial, it's going to direct you over to an online browser where you're able to read as is before you download it. From here, you can swipe everything like this, and they do give you some easy direction like go to the next page, etc. But a lot of the text and everything will be in Japanese because that's where it is meant to be distributed and sold. Although the experience is quite nice and if you do download a sample, you can go and read it on any one of your devices as long as you're signed in. You can read it on your PC, you can read it on your smartphone, you could even read it on an e-reader. This is an Onyx Books Poke 3 Special Edition. It has Google Play, which means you can download the reader by Sony. When you go into that, the reader itself is in English as well, which is very helpful for people that live outside of Japan that still want to, well, potentially read or at least look at things they've downloaded if you can't read it. You can go to the recently purchased things, and we did buy something for zero yen or zero dollars just to show you how it looks. We're in X mode right now, so everything's very stainy. You can go to the top, you can go to E center and you can go to normal mode which is going to be the basically the HD mode clicking on something to open it right up opens it within the app itself and you can now learn the rules of the road for drivers in Japan and it's written all in English like I said there will be some other language content on there you'll have some English French you have some Spanish content here and there you do have the page turn animations as well and you get full page curl now this will be increased depending on what mode you're in so if we go to e-ink center and we go over to say a2 mode rather than x mode this will become much quicker and the page curls are almost commandable you can see I can move it around with great ease this isn't going to be the greatest experience of your life but it's very interesting because it exists on any capacity so basically as long as you have a web browser be it an Amazon Kindle an Onyx product your phone your PC your tablet you will have access to go to the reader store and access that in your own native language although the content will be Japanese but if you say access it from a browser that is in Portuguese it'll be all in Portuguese so that's the beauty of the reader store still existing to this very day is the Sony reader store in this day and age going to compete with the Kobo bookstore and the Amazon bookstore well sure if you speak Japanese if you don't it's pretty useless for you most if not all of the content is in the domestic Japanese language. You might find some straggler content that's written in English, French, or to a lesser degree Spanish, but that's not what this video is about. It was to quash the understanding that the Sony Reader Store entirely closed up shop almost 8 years ago, and that's simply not the case. There are tons of people around the world that want to read mangas or even simply look at their favorite manga and keep one of the largest and most influential e-reader stores of its time alive and well, which it very much is today.
For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter. Peter.